zeroth law of thermodynamics this tells us about the concept of temperature okay initially we did not know what the temperature was but we knew about a energy which we used to call heat now if there are two systems and they are connected to each other with a wall between them so here is a wall there is system a and here is system b the energy of a will go to b or energy of b will go to a it depends upon whether this wall is diathermic or this wall is adiabatic whether it will go or it will not go suppose this is a diathermic wall which allow heat to pass through now a to b the heat will pass and after some time we find that the passage of heat the transmission of heat stops if the transmission of heat has stopped no transmission that state we call as equilibrium and because this is heat equilibrium we call it thermal so what is the state of thermal equilibrium when the two systems are combined together with a diathermic wall between them which allows heat to pass then after some time we find that the passing of heat from one to the other system or other to the first system stops and there is no more heat transmission that situation is known as thermal equilibrium so a and b here are in thermal equilibrium now we have another system where a and c these two systems are again in equilibrium so system a is in equilibrium with b system a is also in equilibrium with c now if we bring b and c together if we bring b and c together across a wall b and this side is c if b and c brought together across a diathermic wall what we find that there is no exchange of heat and they are already in equilibrium yes you may say what is something new in it if a is equal to b b is equal to c then b is equal to a is equal to c of course it is there so this is in reference to thermodynamics okay but as you say it is not that simple a is equal to b and a is equal to c then b is equal to c is it very natural see i tell you in our gas laws we know that pressure is proportionate to temperature we all know temperature increase pressure increase volume is proportionate to temperature you increase the temperature volume will increase you increase the temperature pressure will also increase so p is proportionate to t v is proportionate to t then what is the relation between p and v it should be p proportionate to v but it is not there in gas laws in gas laws p is inversely proportionate to v p v is equal to constant you know that boyle's law so it is not always like that that p is proportionate to t v is proportionate to t therefore p is proportionate to v see here b is in equilibrium with a c is in equilibrium with a therefore b is equilibrium with c should it be there so if it is there then it's a law because it is not always there you are seeing here so in this case b is equal to a c is in equilibrium with a but what we find that b and c they are in equilibrium which is contrary to this 
t proportional to p t proportional to v but p and v are not proportional to each other so it is not always there sometimes it is there sometimes it is not there there are two possibilities here what is the possibility we are telling you that this is the possibility therefore it is not so natural it is a law which is specified so this is zero at law of thermodynamics now this law tells us about something what is that something what is that physical quantity which decides that the two system will be in equilibrium and the heat will not transform one system to other system so that thing was discovered later after we have lot of studied and we have made two laws first law of thermodynamics and second law of thermodynamics were already made after that in first law and in second law we used a term which we used to call temperature degree of hotness but nowhere before that we told what is temperature how to define temperature in thermodynamics so we made a law that law will uh, define what is temperature and how it is defined if there are two system in contact with each other then the direction of heat flow the direction of heat flow will tell us that one body is at higher temperature and the receiving body is at lower temperature so temperature is a physical quantity which decides the direction of flow of heat this is temperature temperature is a physical quantity which decides the direction whether it will flow here or it will flow here how will you find you will say tell me the temperature then only you can tell the direction so temperature is the quantity which decides which tells us the direction and this is the definition when this there is no flow of heat what is equal in them answer what is equal in them we will call it temperature so this is how temperature is defined in zeroth law but before i write this we must write what is zeroth law so zeroth law this is zeroth law if two system b and c are in thermal equilibrium separately with the system a separately with system a then b and c are also in thermal equilibrium with each other this is zeroth law and after that what do we study this temperature is the physical quantity defined in zeroth law of thermodynamics how it is defined so that we write here so this is the definition of temperature as achieved by zeroth law of thermodynamics so this is all about zeroth law of thermodynamics why it is number is zero because we discovered first law and second law initially in which we mentioned a quantity temperature without defining what is temperature and later we made a law with reference to heat transfers which tells us about temperature so that should have been given before but we have already given the number first law to something else therefore the number allotted to this was zeroth law so this is about the zeroth law in next lecture we will see first law of thermodynamics
Thank you.